all right here you can see our file setup in 3ds max so to import this mesh just go to real flow select mesh loader and drag this mesh loader into viewport and then go to modify panel all right then select bin mesh sequence and import our bin file yeah from your yeah and you can see our mesh in viewport and let's assign some material to this liquid so select M sorry press M button and create our material like a very fast SSS is very simple material you can use this material from our project files then our light setup yes we are going to use V-Ray so let's select our let's create our V-Ray light so let's start with our first light and just place this light in proper position like uh, you can see over here X, Y and Z then no rotation alright now go to modify panel and set the multiplier 10 then the size of our light okay now select our second light place it properly like x y z axis you can see over here the parameters then uh, rotation all right now go back to our modify panel set the multiplier 25 then size okay now select the third light here you can see the position and rotation so you can set the multiplier 30 for this small light then size 1515 15. okay then go to our render setup here you can set the assign renderer v-ray as our renderer then set the timeout time output and our output size then set the render output and just hit the render button so you will get the final output of our lava so this is very simple and very easy technique to create lava effect for any small cartoon films or any commercial you can add multiple materials and multiple effects to make it real so it's up to you and our your creativity i just use very simple trick to make it very simple so i hope you understand the technique to create lava and i'm going to come with an another exciting tutorial soon so till then thank you and have a nice time